So y'all know I, I dig in deep to come up with meeting topics, you know. I really think think about the situation, you know, and I'm not just trying to go through like general ideas. I like to really think about where we're at as a company and you know the people in the company and you know what type of things really would be most beneficial to talk about. And when I was thinking about meeting topic for today, I, the word favor came to my mind, right? And I was thinking, dang, I was like, you know, I really feel like God's favor is on our company, you know? And I started thinking deeper and deeper about it. And basically the word favor, y'all know like, hey, could you do me a favor, right? And so I started thinking, I didn't even look up the word favor. I just started thinking, and uh, I was like, man, it's almost like God is just continuously doing us favors. Like there's been so many situations and, uh, you know, I, there, there was a person who recently, he'd been around a while and recently just went into to a treatment and I had caught wind that this person had basically gotten honest with admin and told admin some of the stuff that they've been doing and just kind of basically repented and then was going to get healthy, right? And I'm thinking, that's positive, right? Because that's really what, you know, following God and doing the right thing is all about is first of all, being accountable for the wrongs that you do and then doing something action-wise to make it right. And I just started thinking about all the people's lives here at Head Straight Up and just the general idea of God's favor being in our on our company. And then I started thinking about the fact that we should really represent that to a, the highest standard. We should really start feeling that. You know, we should really start walking in that, be in, in God's favor, feeling that we have favor upon our lives, right? Because we always talk about being positive, right? Keeping a good attitude and all that stuff. What better way to have a positive attitude than to feel like God's favor is on your life? Think about that. You wake up in the morning, uh, there's a scripture that says blessed and highly favored. Has anybody ever heard that scripture before? Has anybody ever heard anybody say I'm blessed and highly favored? You guys heard that before? I've said that a lot in my life. I, th I think it's when somebody says, hey, how you doing? Right? I've always had pretty good responses. One of my other ones that I like a lot is I'm doing good and getting better. Or I'm doing great and getting better. Right. And why would I respond like that? Because it's an uplifting way to respond and it's not really a normal way to respond. Because most of the time when you ask somebody how they're doing, they're doing all right. Right. I'm doing all right. Oh, yeah, everything's OK. You know, and I, I always want to I feel like God's blessed me so much and that I have reason to be above that standard. So if somebody asks me how I'm doing, I like to reply in a good way. So I want to start holding myself accountable to that, to my responses to people, because I feel like it's my duty because of the way God's blessed us so much to represent it better. You understand what I'm saying? God's had so much favor on our lives that we really should have duty to honor that and to walk upright with a good attitude, yes, but also kind of shining in a way that represents favor on our life. You understand what I'm saying? Everybody say it with me. Blessed and highly favored. Blessed and highly favored. It feels good saying it, don't it? So look, now look. So then I started wondering, was God the one that was bringing me this message to my mind? Or was I just thinking it? I wasn't sure. I started thinking, I'm like, is God putting this on my heart to talk about today? Or am I just thinking of a good idea, right? And so I looked up, listen to this. After I sit, literally had thought about all the favor that's been on our lives here at this company, okay? Because I'm literally thinking about the work aspect. I'm like, yeah, well, as an individual, you can have favor on your life. You know, God favors certain individuals that receive it, that walk in it, that have faith, that believe it, right? But I started thinking that I believe that headed straight up has favor on it. 
God's favor. I believe that just being a part of Headed Straight Up, you're blessed. I really feel that way. I feel like, and this gets deep, and I'll tell you a little bit more about it in a minute. But I feel like just you being a part of this company, you're blessed. I feel like God's going to show you special favor because you're a part of Headed Straight Up. I really feel that way. And there's so many dynamic reasons why I feel that way. But one of the reasons is I feel like God even blesses our neighbors. When we first got to this place, it was deserted. There was no business in this, this uh, parking lot. Now, this parking lot's popping. It ain't just uh, our cars out there. These other businesses are thriving. All these other businesses in this center are thriving. And I know, and somebody can call me crazy if they want to, but I know that their businesses are thriving because we're here. Because God blesses, God's blessing us, and because we're in the community, other people are being blessed. Their businesses are thriving, right? That guy's walking different than he did when I met him, that dude that owns that t-shirt shop. Yep. He walking, like, he's confident and everything. He's walking around. I'm like, hey, he used to be, I think, I'm pretty sure he used to be slumped over a little bit, like, kind of like depressed and stuff. I don't know what happened, but his business... Things done picked up. I guess we done bought enough t-shirts from him or something. Yeah. Huh? Whole attitude done changed. But he's, he's like walking happy. Now we got other business. Look, we done rented out. Now we got two a business and a ministry here. They're putting this little, look, uh, uh, they're putting a, a Mexican restaurant right there. Right? A year ago, they wouldn't have put that restaurant right there. This place was deserted. They would have, they would have been like, we're going to go somewhere else. But now there's so much business here, right, that they're going to put a restaurant there. So, I mean, I, there's so much evidence of favor on this business, right? And when I think about the testimonies of the people, listen, you guys, we are walking and like we are walking with our head high right now. Everybody's getting all kinds of business. You guys might not know, but it's a drought right now in the ACP industry. And we don't feel a drought at all here. We got so much favor on us. It's uh, it's unbelievable. <laughs> but it is believable. You know what I'm saying? Because we have faith. That's why. But we have so much favor on us. We literally, there's sometimes I come in and look at this sheet. And it has production on it that is similar to the production that we used to have with 60 or 70 people. You understand what I'm saying? It's like the same business, half the headache. I mean, we, we got rid. There's a lot of people. Listen, and we've been able to uh, keep a lot of good, positive rep, rep representatives in this company. I was thinking about it the other day, and literally anybody that left the company was all up to something shady. If you think about the people that done left, I've heard bad reports about the business they were doing in the field. You know, I've heard all kinds of stuff, and eventually I think their conscience got to them or something because they, they're just not here anymore. But we've been able to keep a lot of good, positive reps in this company that are doing the right thing, and I'm happy about that. I feel like we have favor on the people that we have in the company. It's just really positive. So I was look, So I went to look up scriptures about favor. Right now, look, check this out. I'm looking up scriptures about favor, and the first scripture that pops up is listen to this. This is God, because this I know it wasn't just me trying to think of it. God led me into this this topic. I'm gonna show you how I know, because I went to look up scriptures about favor, and the first scripture I found is let the favor of the Lord our God be upon us. And establish the work of our hands upon us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. Can you imagine? I look up the favor and it's talking about work. The first scripture that I find. I'm like, God's trying to show me that he's blessing this business, which I already know that. But it's a, it's a, a confirmation. It's like reaffirming that, it, that I'm not crazy, that God really is blessing this company. And the people in the company. It says, 
Let the favor of the Lord our God be upon us and establish the work of our hands upon us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. So basically what that's saying is that God is blessing our work. Right? The work of your hands is whatever you're doing work-wise. Right? Whatever you put your hand to is blessed. So that means because our work is doing the phones and tablets, we're blessed in that. God's making sure we got product, making sure we got customers always lined up, making sure we don't have no issues. Look, we don't have nobody trying to stop us. We're still doing business great. Everything works out awesome. So we're literally being blessed. But this gets deeper. I'm going to show y'all. So look at this. I, I, the next one I found. Look at this. It says, I will always show you where to go. I'll give you a full life in the emptiest of places. I start thinking about the droughts and stuff. Listen. Firm muscles. I don't know if y'all seen or not. But I'm <laughs> firm, mu firm muscles. Strong bones. You'll be like a well-watered garden. A gurgling spring. That never runs dry. The Lord will guide you always. He will satisfy the needs in a sun scorched land and will strengthen your frame. You will be like a well watered garden, like a spring whose waters never fail. This is talking about blessing in the drought, y'all. And health, good health, being made strong, right? When there's many reasons to be the opposite. It says, in him we are also chosen, having been predestined according to the plan of him who works out everything in conformity with the purpose of his will. Then the next one I found, look at this. He who finds a wife finds what is good and receives favor from the Lord. I don't know if y'all know this or not, but let me tell you right now. Me and my wife, our relationship is what blessed the beginning and has established this company. My wife and I, our relationship in business, in ministry, in our personal lives has been the fire that started this, everything that's been going on in a positive way in this company. Without. So I truly believe that me and my wife, like our relationship is, has been favor from the Lord. I literally did find favor with God by finding a good wife that's godly and does the right thing and wants to do the right thing and has her mindset on the right things in life. It's been a blessing. So, I mean, every scripture I find about favor, I'm just finding, finding substance. Surely, Lord, you bless the righteous. You surround them with your favor as with a shield. Bob? Yeah, amen. Yeah, I'm doing something right, right? Thanks, Bob. Thanks, Bob. Surely, Lord, you bless the righteous. You surround them with your favor as with a shield. Listen, that what that made me think of is righteous means doing the right thing, right? So that makes me think about the fact that we stand so strong about doing things right in this company. Like, we stand firm on processing orders the correct way, treating customers the right way, not doing things that are shady, doing things that are right, right? Because of that, God has favor on us. There's just multiple reasons. It literally says, it literally says, you bless the righteous. You surround them with your favor as with a shield. Here goes this one, look. For his anger lasts only a moment, but his favor lasts a lifetime. Weeping may stay for the night, but rejoicing comes in the morning. I think about the fact that we don't deny that there's hard times here, but what do we promote, right? If you have a bad day, call it a day, wake up with a positive attitude and go do a good job tomorrow, right? And we promote believing that everything's gonna work out good in the bigger picture. That mindset has favor that comes along with it. Here you go, here we go. Hold on. 
For the Lord God is the sun and shield. The Lord bestows favor and honor. No good thing does he withhold from those whose walk is blameless. Let me tell you guys something. That word right there penetrated my heart years ago. Because I realized years ago that God had a calling on my life. And I read in the Bible that somebody that wants to be a leader in God's army needs to have a blameless walk blameless and that's one of the reasons i started the journey of trying to fix everything in my life because my life was definitely not blameless what do you mean blameless walk? blameless meaning somebody looks at you and they can't point at anything wrong you're blameless they look at you and there's everything you do is basically right you understand what i'm saying so for me when i realized that a man of god should have that kind of standard it held me accountable to start fixing things in my life because I realized like I got a lot of stuff wrong. I'm definitely not blameless, you know, and not to say I'm blameless right now. I'm sure there's something somebody could point out, but I'm saying I've worked really hard fixing things from my past, setting the record straight, doing everything the right way, making amends, treating people the right way, clearing all the records, you know, I even went as far as to clean up my record for real. I paid all kinds of fines and tickets and got my credit straight. Like I went through all kinds of stuff to get to a point where I can be walking in a blameless way, right? So that right there was another confirmation that I believe God has favor on you when you're trying to walk blamelessly, when you're trying to do things the right way in an honorable way and fix things that are broken and make your relationships right and make your the right decisions it's powerful so here we go here's another one hold on it says oh may the favor of the lord lord our god rest on us establish the work of our hands i already read that one remember me lord when you show favor to your people come to my aid when you save them I always believe that no matter what goes on, I can rely on God to fix the situation. I always, I always believe that. This one says, for it is by grace you have been saved through faith and this is not of yourselves. It is a gift of God, not by works so no one can boast. And I honestly believe that we also have favor on this company because I preach Jesus. I literally believe that our company has favor and God has a certain hedge of protection around our company because of what I represent in the company. I know y'all probably know this, but headed straight up is about heaven. That's what it's about. Headed straight up is literally about heaven, right? It's literally about heaven. So how, if you think God's gonna look around at businesses the blessed, do you think we're gonna get his attention? You tell me, if God's looking around on the land at which businesses he's going to bless and he runs across one that's about heaven, you think he's going to bless this one? I think he's going to bless this one. Hey, that guy's down there preaching Jesus. He made his company about heaven. Let's bless them. It says, hold on a second. Oh, wait, and I'm going to tell you all another scripture that came to my mind. Seek first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. Seek first the kingdom of God, right? How much more can you seek first the kingdom of God than to make your company about the kingdom of God? So that's seeking first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness, and all his righteousness, which is doing everything right. Fixing things that are bad, doing all the stuff right, and all these things will be added to you. That means if you seek God first and you try to make everything right and you make the right decisions, everything you need will be added into your life. All the blessings will be added into your life. And I believe it's true. It says, Oh, yeah, I'm going to read it. It's actually right here. It says, so do not worry. What shall we eat or what shall we drink or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after all these things and your heavenly father knows that you need them. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well. This says, 
My son, do not forget my teaching, but keep my commands in your heart, for they will prolong your life many years and bring you peace and prosperity. How many knows that prosperity is abundance in, in finances? Prosperity is good health. Prosperity is abundance in finances. It's a special blessing that God puts on who he chooses to give it to. Right? Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Then you will win favor and a good name in the sight of God and man. So it basically is telling us right here, that's how you get favor in the sight of God and man is by doing the right stuff. Put in God first place in your life, seeking the right things. It says you will have favor with not only God, but with man as well. That means doors will be open, right? There's another scripture that says God will open doors that no man can shut. It's literally the formula for the blessing. It says, so listen, so that's a lot of confirmation. I look up the word favor and I'm like, dang, we're on to something. Right? So what I would challenge everybody to, to think and feel is that God does have favor on your life. I guarantee if you think about it, you're going to recognize that recently in times in your life, doors have been opening. Things have been getting better, right? Situations have been improving, right? Opportunities have been growing. You're optimistic, right? You're probably more confident, right? You probably feel more connected with others. There's lots of things that I guarantee you'll notice in your life if you just take a look around at the positives. It's your choice whether you want to look at what's going on wrong today or look at what's going on right today. 